Hello and welcome back to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm your host, Chris Doman, a.k.a. the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker. Here with me today in the co-hosting chair, he's kind of my regular, you know, if you want to say like that, he is the Ellis to my Harloff, Case the Assassin Cornelissa. Case, uh, we're in for a really good match today. I got the feeling. You? I think so, too. Uh, I've seen uh, my compete, uh, especially uh, against me, and uh, sadly that didn't end too well for me. And I've seen Jacob compete, and I know he knows his movies. I've talked a lot of movies with him, so I know he knows his stuff. So I think these two really know their movies. I don't really have a favorite, because uh, part of me wants Mike to win, because Mike is the one who beat me, and I want to lose to the best. But another part is like, but I know Jacob a little bit better, so I want him to win. So I'm really torn on this one. Uh, you know, speaking of our competitors, let's meet them real quick. Uh, up first, the bat. He actually is coming off of a TKO against, unfortunately, Case, uh, my co-host. He is Mr. DVD, Mike Hanley. Mike, welcome back to the Fan Schmodown, man. Good to be here, man. All right. You, I, I, now, I haven't done this a couple times, just real quick. Are you nervous at all yep. anymore by, by this? Nervous? No. No, if it, I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. I'm just here to have a good time. Awesome. I love it. And you know, now we're going to the who you said is the son of a bitch who must pay. He is <laughs> the Aussie, Jacob London. Sir, when you're done cracking up, welcome back to the fan oh. movie trivia showdown, man. How's it going? I'm good. Uh, unlike Mike, I'm terrified. So, <laughs> I Mike scared me in that game against Case. So I've got oh, okay. This no, I didn't want. I wanted to first Case because I know I can beat Case. Uh, Mike, I'm not so certain. <laughs> I, I would call. I would. I would call that cockiness. But since I will tell you something, that's that's pretty hilarious. Um. Okay. Then you know what, guys? If we're all set to go, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the fan movie trivia showdown. First one of the last eight standing. Here we go. Introducing first with a record of two wins, no defeats, with one TKO. Give it up for Mr. DVD, Mike. Hanley and his opponent with a record of two wins, no defeats with one TKO. Give it up for the bookkeeper of the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown League, Jacob Diazzi Blunden. All right. So round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will receive four questions from four predetermined categories and sets of twos. Each question is worth one point apiece, and there is no stealing in this round. Jacob, because you are the slightly higher ranked competitor, would you like to go first or second? I will go first. Sounds good. And Mike, please pick from either Category 1 or Category 2. Uh, category 1. Sounds good. I will read for you in Category 1, and Case will read for Jacob in Category 2. All right, Jacob, your first question in the category of drama. In 2015's Mr. Holmes, what type of insect stings Roger? A bee. If it's incorrect, we were looking for a wasp. All right. Your second question in the category of comic book movies. The villainous syndrome seeks to destroy Mr. Incredible in The Incredibles. Why does he seek to... Uh, to destroy Mr. Incredible. Revenge for him not caring about him as a kid when he was a kid superhero. And uh, I can't give it. Okay. okay. No, uh, he was rejected by Mr. Incredible as his sidekick as oh, a kid. Okay. Right. I didn't word it right, but uh, yeah, fair enough. That's all good. It's all good. All right, Mike. For your first question in the category of drama, who played the role of Spicer Lovejoy in Titanic? I say Lovejoy. Lovejoy. 
Oh my god. Five, four, three. I'm blanking. I don't know. All right, that's all good. I was looking for one of the scariest men alive, David Warner. Ah, there we go. You're scary in that movie. Yeah. All right. For your second question, the category of comic book movies. Helen Cho creates which Avenger in Avengers Age of Ultron? Dr. Helen Cho. My bad. Um, Vision. That is correct. For one point. So All right, Jacob. Back to you. In your category of comedy, in Fired Up, Nick and Sean ditch football camp to go to what? Uh, cheerleading camp. Wow. That's for one point. Your last question in a category of animated. In Tangle, Rapunzel finds a certain object that is very useful in a fight. What object? <laughs> Frying pan. That is correct for another point. Strong second half there. All right. Mike, your next question in the category of comedy. Who play Mike and Dave in Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates? I'm um, uh, Zach Efron and, um, uh, oh, God, what's his name? Five, four, Damn it. three, oh, one, two, one. That's so sad. One. I, I blanked. It's all good. One, a, a very unfunny man by the name of Adam Devine. <laughs> There we go. Watch Workaholics. He's funny in Workaholics. That show is <laughs> atrocious. How dare you say that, sir? For your final question, under the category of animated, who voiced the mother that becomes a monkey in Kubo and the Two Strings? Never seen it. Uh, Helen Mirren? <laughs> Ooh, uh, that's a shame. I was looking for Charlize Theron. See the movie. It's goddamn good. It's probably going to win Best Animal Feature. Please. Not why. Hey. Zootopia's Award. Hey. Hey. Quiet. <laughs> 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 That's we come out of round one with the score being two to one. Jacob is in the lead. And round two will go as such. Each competitor will choose a number between 1 through 6, which pertains to a certain movie category. You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. You may pick twice, but you must stick with the second option if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions with two points apiece, though multiple choice is available, and your point value goes down to one point, and there is stealing in this round. Jacob, because you are in the lead, would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go second. All right. Mike, the categories in this round are DC movies, spy movies, movie release dates, action adventure, Disney, and sci-fi fantasy. Choose a number between okay. one through six. Uh, four. That is the category of sci-fi fantasy. Was like stick with it or go for something else? Yeah, I'll stick with it. Sounds good. Yeah. And Case, take it away. Will do. For your first question in the category of sci-fi fantasy, in The Force Awakens, what is the name of the leader of the Guavian Death Gang? Multiple choice. <laughs> hey, your options are A. Tasu Leech, B. Metaka, C. Balati, or D. Statura. Uh, D. Is it incorrect, J uh, Jacob Chantel? Is it A? That is incorrect. We were looking for Mark oh. Ellis, a.k.a. Balatik. Indeed. A is, a is the other group, oh, isn't it? Yep, yep. <laughs> a Kanji is Club. the other group. <sighs> yep. A is Kanji Club. Anyway, so it's Kanji your, Club. Second question, <laughs> <laughs> your second question in sci-fi fantasy in the Lord of the Rings, what is the name of the capital of Rohan? The capital. Five, 
or damn it, uh, multiple choice. Your options are A. Minas Tirith, B. Helm's Deep, C. Adoras, or D. Theoden. The capital, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, C. That is correct. C is correct for one point. I'm the gold right. of all of Meadows. For your third question in sci-fi fantasy, who directed Gods of Egypt? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, multiple choice. <laughs> right, your options are A, Joe Carnahan, B, Alex Proyas, C, John Hyams, or D, Neil Marshall? Uh, B. That is correct for another point. All right, now for your last question in sci-fi fantasy. What is Ripley's rank in Alien? Oh, uh... oh come on. Um... Five, four. Multiple choice. The options are A, a warrant officer, B, captain, C, Commander or D Lieutenant. Lieutenant? That is incorrect, Jacob Chances Steel. Uh five. Four. Captain. That is incorrect, we were looking for a warrant officer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Alright, okay, so Mike did manage to pull a couple points there, that always helps. Uh but now we go over to Jacob. The main categories in this round are Disney movies, movie release dates, DC movies, spy movies, and action and oh sorry, and uh yeah, and action adventure. Choose an order between one through six and four is off the table. Three. That's the category of Disney. We're like stick with it or go for something else. Yeah, I'll stick with it. All right, he's sticking true to his yes. uh, t Team Disney Renaissance roots. I'm like, uh, uh, gonna regret <laughs> this, but all right. All right, for your first question, the category of Disney. What is the name of the voodoo priestess Jack Sparrow and his crew visit in Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man? Tia Dama. That is correct for two points. I I could tell you were just waiting. You were just waiting. <laughs> I thought it was you about to say Princess and the Frog, and then I'm like, oh, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> All right. For your second question, what does Bambi call the call the skunk in Bambi? Uh, flower. Wow. Two points. Two more points. Wow. Okay. All right, your next question. What type of cat is the family in the Aristocats? Yeah, I'll go multiple choice on that one. Okay. Your options are A, Balinese, B, Siamese, C, Devon Rex, or D, Parisian. D. That is correct. Nicely done. And your final question in the category of Disney. Maleficent, God forbid, was nominated for which Academy Award? Best Makeup. Oh, Mike, chance to steal. Um, uh, damn it. Nominated for uh, Best Costume Design? Wow, mm. two oh, points! Wow, that is yeah. a <laughs> Dickhead. Oh. <laughs> That is a big steal. Holy crap. Oh, that's painful. I uh, needed that. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. This just now turned into a two-point game. Uh, oh, man. <sighs> this is going to be close. Okay. We're now coming to round three, and it will go as such. Each competitor will be given the year, genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. If you know the answer from that information alone, you'll receive five points. However, 
if you need two more keywords. Total possible goes down to three points. And if you still need one more keyword, the total possible is one point and there is no stealing in this round. Jacob, because you are still in the lead, choose either movie number one or movie number two. Movie number two. Okay. I will read Mike his question for movie number one. Mike, your year is 1994. Genre, crime, and drama. Your keywords are murder, banker, friend. Murder, banker, friend. I want to go for, uh, I count. Heat. Sorry? Oh, Heat. I'm sorry, man. I was looking for the Shawshank the short... Red- Redemption. Oh, a... Greatest film ever made. Oh, why didn't I go movie number one? Okay. Right. Now, now, here's the, now, here's a stipulation. Yeah. Jacob hits the five or the three. He wins by a TKO because Mike missed his question. So no pressure, Jacob. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 2014. Your genres are sci-fi, adventure, and drama. And your keywords are future, space, and astronaut. (laughs) Uh, I'm 90% I know what it is. Five. Four, three. Give me, two. give me two more. The other two are NASA and Planet. Interstellar. And your winner by T K O. Jacob, the Aussie Blunden. Oh, man. Oh, that was tough. <laughs> good match, guys. Good Dude, match. That was a good match. That was a real match. Oh, man. Man. So, Mike, was... uh, let's, 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 let's get your reaction. Um, well fought. Unfortunately, it just didn't quite go the way maybe you had hoped. Yeah, I should have taken that three pointer. <laughs> I should have went for it. Man. I knew I should have. But, hey, man, I lost to someone great, man. Yeah. A, I got no complaints, man. Beat me fair and square. That's, that's very oh, that, like That's awesome. Jacob, you are now not. 3 and 0. You are the first competitor to get to 3 and 0. How does it feel? Yeah, uh, Mike, you fought really well. I'm um, if if I was gonna go out in that game, I was happy to to you. Like that was fought really well. But look, I can't wait to go further and take home this championship and I want it and I want it bad so oh I'm so mad at myself for a few of those but <laughs> yeah if, I, if, if I'm gonna get this championship I need to not let those little mistakes happen because I will get rolled that's that's true because well here's the thing man you know uh, week after this we got me versus Jono and you're gonna be taking on the winner of us so Ooh. That's going to be a good match. That, and that, well, that's uh-huh. going to be a good match on its own, but then after that... Let, let me ask you this. Who would you rather take on? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, oh, I would rather... I'd rather take Jono on. Um, because... Ooh. I think... I think he, I could... I, 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 I could... It will be a lot closer of a match. I, th- I think I could. It, it would be tough, but I, I could do it. I think it should be interesting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, um, but anyway, Jacob, I'll be seeing you next week. So. <laughs> 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 but you know, uh, well, you never know. You never know. You never know. But however, uh, Case, any final thoughts before we wrap this up? Congratulations to both competitors, especially Jacob Forrest, win because this was a really good match. 
was really close. And um, I cannot wait to see uh, Jacob versus whoever wins uh, next week. Should be good. Definitely. Thanks, Mike. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Uh, for the Assassin Case Cornelesa, I am the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker, and we will see you at the next match. Take care. <laughs>